What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracles you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since it's controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link in the description box. We think about Snoop, his recent recent acquisition of Death Row Records. Well, I'll be glad when somebody put out that the truth about it. I mean, what it is. I think right. it's, it's a hedge fund that's allowing him to be a front man. Wow. What I really believe. Number one, all he got really is his stuff. Let's think about it. Dre attorney came out the next day when he starts in there and said, what? <laughs> he don't own the chronic. That's Dre. Dre got the streaming rights and the hard copies to the chronic. We always knew that the estate was about to get it back. I think it's under uh, the estate now. Tupac's album, which is All Eyes on Me and Machiavelli. So what's left? Dog food? Murder was the case? Mm -hmm. Doggy style. Hey, it got us talking about death row uh, materials again. It got us thinking about it. But when most of the, the hip hop heads go in, what they gonna what they gonna put in? When you go looking for Death Row, you think about what? <laughs> Tupac stuff. Uh, oh. Wow. I, I mean, I love it. Let me just say that Snoop Dogg is my favorite performer, performance mm -hmm. artist. If I gotta go see a show, I wanna go see Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube. I don't wanna see nobody bigger than those two off the West Coast. I like the Fugees when they were doing their thing back in the day, but I'm a uh, EPMD was my first favorite rap artist, and and then your mind's playing tricks on me with uh, Scarface and uh, yeah, yeah, with, with, with get a boy, yeah. get a boy, and so but but Snoop, the <clears throat> guy told me to say, okay, you can go go see your favorite artist right now, and it wouldn't be too far, even though I would want him to come back just so God could, could bring him back, right? But I think I would pick Snoop and Ice Cube show that's 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 about to start touring. That's gonna be a show. Not none of their new stuff, but all of their old '90s classics. That's cool. Man, I can live off that. Yeah. Let me ask you this, and this is just my opinion from the outside observer looking in, having nothing to do with any situation. It looks like they're trying to wipe Suge Knight's legacy away from what exactly. he did for his music and what he did for Death Row. And I don't know if, if if Snoop is involved firsthand, but it seems like they're using him as a pawn, so to speak, to kind of eradicate and erase Suge Knight's name. How accurate am I in saying that? Man, I think you're right on. And that's why everybody hates me. Because I'm going, I got a little voice. I'm nothing compared to those brothers. I know it. My wife tell me all the time, why are you talking about them? No, dudes are doing good. I'm like, well, if money means everything, then okay, yeah, you're right. Money don't mean everything to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my my the truth is what Helen. Oh. Yeah, call her. I'm sorry, y'all. No, no problem. Um, but anyway, so if that's what's truthful, is that's my parents call, that's why I kept looking. But um, hope nothing wrong when you get your mama and your daddy calling at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but anyway, um, if money's everything to people, then yeah, they winning. Dre been winning. But I just want to hear the truth and then put it out there and everybody, and then you decide what sounds appropriate and what sounds not. I'm not saying everything that I'm saying is 100. I'm not lying, but that don't mean it's the right, the right, uh, you know, the right conclusion. I just try to put out Shook version because Shook not out there hearing all of this and knowing everything that's been said where he can respond to it i believe from sitting in, in prison with that nigga for five years every day talking about our life just talking about the past the, the future and and the current that i know it that i can speak it just as well as he you know that he can on some things you know 90 95 percent of other things but i just trying to tell what i believe is is factual i ain't trying to lie i ain't trying to smut nobody I'm just trying to keep the record straight. Why would they try to erase it? I'm sorry to cut you off, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are they trying to rewrite it? I, I'll call it erase it. I just think they're trying to rewrite it. Okay. Put yeah. a different twist on it. <laughs> Why are they trying to do that? Why are they trying to get shook names out of there? And if you, in my, in, 
if you think that's the case? Why are they trying to do that? For the eventually movie that's going to come out, nobody has done a death row movie yet. Mm. You know, we got the Tupac, uh, we got some documentaries, but the really did the movie. Even Suge, my boy Sugar have Drake d- hiding in the closet with Bruce fucking somewhere or something like that, right? <laughs> Suge could do that right now because that's where his head space is. Dre wasn't doing that. Dre had the finest yellow bones around back right. back when we was, you know, coming. That nigga loved yellow bones, red bones, and he had them. So I don't believe that gay bullshit or anything. You know, he did always have a man living with him, you know, like Bruce or David Record Ruffin Jr. David Ruffin Jr. and all of them lived with him, you know, while he was growing up. But I don't believe there was no gay thing going on. But that's what he would, that's what Shug would insinuate. And so Shug, until Shug gets stuff like that all in his head, then yeah. But man, I, when somebody just really sit down and tell that true story and, and just tell it, you know, from the Harry O thing to the Pat Johnson thing to everybody, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of eye opening things. And I think people trying to position themselves to do that from their version. That's why I hope my boy 50, because I love everything 50 doing from life to, you know, Tommy had to grow on me, but power and, yeah. and power and, and, and little Canaan and all that. And, and all that. I mean, I love that. I love everything that nigga do. I don't know y'all position with 50, but I love it. Right. Yeah. And, and DMF. And so, um, uh, I just know that Snoop gonna have that that murder was the case stuff that they working on. He gonna have that shit all fucked up, and Dang I really hope so. they go and research and do it right. Wow, because there's a lot of things that went on from Dre not supporting him in court to the 380 bullets versus the nine millimeter bullets. Because there's things that went on to the defense attorney resting to make him really get off on the case. From the jury coming partying and hanging out with us the day after he got acquit- acquittal. It's just so much uh-huh. good stuff that can be told that's going to see. <laughs> and that's going to get left that um, that I just hope he'd get with somebody else to touch on touch on stuff like that that people want to know about um, about that than what you know, just talking to Snoop and what he can tell about it. Right. Right. It's crazy. I want to ask you, we had Alex Alonzo on. It had to be maybe two years now. He has been crazy. And he broke down. I don't know what you know about this. That Snoop Dogg was a snitch, pretty much. Have you ever heard those allegations? The who snitch? The who Snoop snitch? Dogg. Alex well, Alonzo said that well, he, I don't want know. to put out the, the paperwork where he tried to. He was mad. He was anger, angry. We had just came there to talk to him. And I took about four or five of the homies to, uh, to the Universal Amp when he was performing with Master P. And one of the homies slapped him, and he ran straight to the police uh, with some marijuana in his pocket. And then the cop there asked, which was a different jerk system, didn't even have any jerk system over the murder case. He uh, he just said, hey, who killed who killed Tupac? And then Snoop said, the man that was sitting next to him. You know, Shit. so. This paperwork on that, I done posted and talked about it on Bomb first yeah. for those that want to go more detail led to it but yeah so that's technically i mean he told but he didn't he wasn't on the stand pointing yeah yeah correct I correct and right. and he was mad anger and all he said was the person that was sitting next to him right you know so that's when niggas say stuff like that that's just trying to jab throw a jab he was he was yeah. mad i would have been mad niggas just came up there Making me look bad, slapping me and making me run and all of that stuff. I'll be a little hot too. That's all that was. That's all that. Gotcha. 